Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Event Planning Excel template. We'll start by hiding the ribbon to have more space. First, let's go into the Settings page. As you can see, it allows you to set up data lists that will allow you to visualize your task progress and overall situation. Let's start with the team member list. Here, you can enter as many team members as you want. Let's add a new one we'll call Mary. Perfect. The events list is where we list the events our tasks are related to, as well as their budget. Let's add a new event called Event 5. We'll set a budget of 10,000 reals. Finally, the status list allows you to enter and modify up to six statuses to indicate which stage your task is at. At the moment, we have backlog, doing, done, and blocked. We'll keep it as is. Let's move on to the events step. This is where you list an events general step so you can later indicate for each task which step of the event it is at. Now, let's go to the most important input page, the tasks page. This table will allow you to create and modify tasks. We'll go through the process of adding a new task together. We'll call it task 75. And we'll assign it a cost of 2000 reals. We'll indicate a dummy location. And pick an event step and event name. For the event description, we'll choose our newly created event. Event 5. We'll assign this task to our newly created agent, Mary, and choose a high priority. As for the start date, we'll set it as the 2nd of November 2020. As you can see, the day of the week auto calculates. And we'll leave the end date section blank, as let's say our task is not finished yet. We'll set a due date of the 1st of December 2020. And set the status as doing. Awesome! We're ready to start visualizing. Let's go to the core of this tool, the Kanban board. First thing to do is to hit the button Refresh All to ensure we visualize the latest data. Alright. You'll notice that all our tasks are grouped by status and all display the task name, the person it is assigned to, and its due date. So you can easily view the overall situation in a glance. The color coding will indicate the task with a low, medium, or high priority. The tasks in red are crucial, whereas the one in green do not hold as much importance. Finally, a little flag on the task card will indicate if the task is overdue or not. You can see on the top there are four slicers that allow you to filter the issue board and view only specific tasks by event, team member, priority, or if the task is overdue or not. Great. Now, let's have a look at the weekly calendar. First of all, refresh all. We can see it displays the task under a schedule based on their creation date. Similarly to the Kanban board, each task displays its name, the person it is assigned to, and its due date, with the priority color coding and the overdue flag. 
The series of slicer up here allow you to visualize a specific group of tasks based on their event, team member, priority, status, and overdue. The start of the week slicer, however, allows you to navigate through the calendar and visualize different weeks. Let's move on to the overview report. Once again, hit the Refresh All button. You can see the overview report is a table where you select a specific event and possibly a date range to visualize all the tasks attached to this event and grouped by event step. You'll also see every task detail from the team member assigned to it, the due date, status and cost. Finally, the dashboard. Once again, hit the Refresh All button. Unlike the previous tabs, you do not see a task detail, but more of an overview of the main metrics that are crucial to understand the overall progress and situation. On the right hand side, we can see three filters, allowing to visualize tasks from only a specific event, a particular team member's task, or tasks created within a specific date range. On the left hand side, we can see total number of steps, total number of tasks, and number of overdue tasks. The middle of the dashboard displays three bar charts, indicating the number of tasks by priority, number of tasks by person it is assigned to, and the number of tasks per status. Finally, in the bottom left, we have a donut chart that indicates the total spent for every task versus budget initially assigned for all events. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about our event planning Excel template, and you're ready to start using it. Enjoy!